Hello, my candor crafters. If you're new here, welcome. If you are loyal, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this acrylic social media sign just using my Cricut. As always, all the supplies will be linked in the description and also pinned in the comments. So let's get started. I started off by painting my acrylic first. The sheets do come with protective film on both sides, so I did take the film off first. Please don't forget to take off your film because when I, when I started to do my vinyl part, I definitely left the, um, the film on, <laughs> so I had to redo that. But anyway, I started off by painting the acrylic about three times. I did use my heat gun because y'all know your girl is impatient. I did get this inspiration from the wedding um, acrylic signs, like the big wedding acrylic signs. I'll sh I'll link some pictures um, in here so you can see what I'm talking about. But I was going for like the unfinished edges, just like um, paint brush strokes. That's the look I was going for. I didn't want to paint the whole acrylic blank.
after doing my three paints of coat, my three coats of paint, oh my goodness, I used some Mod Podge to seal it because I just didn't want the paint to chip and I just wanted it to last longer. I did not put it over the clear parts, the little bit of the clear parts that I left um, on the acrylic. I just did it solely on the paint. Then I let that dry. It is a little, it is still a little white, but it dries after, it dries clear after that. And I do not know why I put the Mod Podge in this pattern. I think I was just solely focused on trying to get it only on the paint, but it does bother me. Does it bother y'all too? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> After the Mod Podge has dried, it's time to lay down our vinyl. I already cut out and weeded my vinyl off camera. I'm using both matte and mirrored, gold mirrored vinyl. Also, I'm using my text base logo that I created in Canva. Let me know if you guys want a Canva tutorial because I honestly love Canva. Like, there's so much that you can do in Canva. And even with the um, QR code, I use that for Canva as well. But when I get to that part, I'll show y'all. Also, I find it much easier to trim your vinyl, weed it, and um, put your transfer tape all on your vinyl while it's still on the mat it prevents it from rolling unless you have like really like if you're using like glitter vinyl or something like that where you may need to smooth the back of the vinyl as well as the front but i find doing this all on the mat just makes it easier because your vinyl is already flat so it's just easier to get it to stick to your transfer paper.
next up is our QR code. Um, I printed out this QR code on printable vinyl and I did make it slightly bigger because I wanted to put a gold trim around it. I did use Linktree to put all my links in one place and then I put my Linktree URL into Canva to create one cohesive QR code. If you did not know that Canva now has QR codes, this is not a premium feature. Although I am a premium member, this is very much a free feature that Canva offers. So stick around to the end of the video so I can show you guys how it all looks together. This is not sponsored, but I really do love Linktree because it has all of my links all in one place. And if I need to change my links around or if my link changes, I can just easily do that. But my QR code will stay the same because it goes directly to my link tree and not the link itself. I'm sort of a minimalist. Like sometimes I do the extra mile, but for the most part, I like clean cut and straight to the point type of designs. So this is what, what works best for me. Like I just love the idea of just having one QR code, all my links in one place, and people can just click on what they need. I have my PayPal on there. I have my email on there. I have my Etsy. I didn't link my Facebook or my Instagram um, on there yet, but that's soon to come. And of course, it has my YouTube channel up there. So yeah, Linktree has so many links that you can put on there. You can put your, um, your own website if you have one, your clubhouse if you have one, Patreon, anything and everything okay <laughs> like they have so many different links and you can add your own links and everything will be in one place So I got all these social media logos right off of Canva. Some of them were premium, and but majority of them are free. They just may be in a different style, but you still get the gist. Like I said earlier, if you guys would like a Canva tutorial, please let me know in the comments because I'll be happy to make one for you guys. And here's the final product. I love, love, love how it turned out. I told you guys the Mod Podge was gonna dry clear. And let me just show you how the link tree works. Just go ahead and scan with your camera and boom. Like I said, there's so many links you can add to your link tree. And they also have payment options. So you have PayPal, they support Square, and they're also about to support Stripe. So they said that's coming soon. If you like this video, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I see y'all watching, but y'all not subscribing. We almost at 5,000 subscribers and I'm doing a giveaway at 5,000. So y'all might as well subscribe so you can, you know, so you have a chance to win. Hello. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Until next time, my candor crafters.